While in Atlanta, Georgia, one of those days that I was sitting in the house and it came to me like a light bulb, slutty vegan. And what was different about Slutty Vegan is that I didn't want to share this idea. And I tell everybody everything, right? I didn't want to share Slutty Vegan because I knew it was special. And how I came up with the name is it was a way to hook people in. I get the million dollar question every single day as to why I decided to do burgers and fries. And it's simple, you know, people who look like me really aren't too familiar with a vegan and plant-based lifestyle, right? I realized that sometimes you have to meet people where they are, and I didn't want to push my agenda on people. And I wanted really to reimagine food and show people that you can eat good food and it didn't have to come from a dead animal. And that's what I did. I've been vegan for a very long time. I hadn't eaten meat for a very long time. So before Slutty Vegan, before all of the businesses that I could have ever created, I was the person that would tell people that you can be vegan, you can be plant-based, and it can taste good. Like my intention is to really help people and to show people the way and to guide them into this level of truth that like we can limit all of the ailments and the diseases in our communities if we just start by changing our options, even if it starts at vegan comfort food. So when you come to Slutty Vegan, you're coming for the experience, but you're leaving with the food. So I'm creating an atmosphere for you to feel safe, for you to feel comfortable, and I'm not pushing my agenda on you, and it makes you wanna come back for more and more and more.